Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Will Dodd with Oconee River GYSTC and in this video I'm going to show you how to program a micro bit to be a door alarm so that when somebody opens your door you get an alarm that goes off and then you can actually reset your micro bit so that the alarm stops going off because that's annoying. Uh, you can check the show notes, there's a document link there that's going to show you exactly how to put this door alarm itself together. This video is purely just going to be devoted to writing the code. How do you write the code for that? So you can see right here on my screen, this is the completed code that we're going to be using, but I'm going to show you how to set that code up step by step. So let's do that. I'm going to go back out to my main screen on make code and I'm going to get a new project. Now, the very first thing I want to create in this code is a variable. And what we're going to use as a variable, I'm just going to click make variable. I'm going to name it alarm. And in this situation, when we first start up our micro bit, I want to set my alarm to be the value zero. And in that case, what we're going to set this up to be is the little speaker that's on our alarm. When the alarm is set to zero, that speaker is not actually going to make any noise. And that's a good thing. Um, so the next thing I want to do on start is I want to grab a basic block and click show icon, but I don't want to show a heart on my screen. I want to show a check mark just to tell me that everything's working correctly. Now we want to set up a way so that when the door itself opens and our two little aluminum foil pieces separate, that's going to trigger a piece of code that's going to turn on our speaker and make it make a bunch of noise so that we know somebody opened our door. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to go under input and we're going to click more and underneath more, we're going to grab this little block here that says on pin zero released. And based on how we built our alarm itself, we're going to need to turn pin zero to pin two because that's the one that has our little aluminum foil rectangles on it. So on pin two released, what we're gonna need to do first is visually, I wanna know that they're released. So I'm gonna grab show icon and I'm gonna make that an X. And so what I should see on my screen when those two pins are disconnected, our pin two is disconnected, I should see an X show up on my screen. And I think we can simulate that if I click that, yeah. So that shows my X, everything's working correctly. And I'm not sure how to reset that, but we're gonna keep going. Uh, the next thing I want to happen when pin two is released is I wanna set that variable to equal one. So I'm gonna put that command in there. So pin two releases, alarm gets set to one. Now, I want to put a while loop in this. And what I want to happen in this while loop is while the alarm variable is set to one, I want my speaker to be banking a bunch of noise. So how to do that? Let's, let's figure that out. So I'm gonna need to grab a block out of logic and it's gonna be a comparison block. So zero equals zero. I'm gonna put that here in the while. Um, I don't want this zero to be zero. I want it to be alarm. So I'm gonna grab variables and grab this alarm right here and put it there. So while alarm equals zero, something's gonna happen, but I want it to be one right here. So when alarm equals one, I want something to happen. And the thing we want to happen when alarm equals one is the speaker actually plays a bunch of noise so that we know somebody has opened our door. So I'm gonna click music and I'm gonna grab this first block, play tone middle C. And when the two little aluminum foil pieces separate, uh, we're gonna get a middle C coming out of our speaker. Now that'll just be a solid tone like beep. We kind of want it to, to fluctuate, kind of like an ambulance tone. So like bee doo dee doo. So in order to do that, what I'm gonna do is duplicate this block. And instead of having it play a middle C, I'm gonna have it play a high C and we should get that nice ambulance tone coming out of that. So currently, if we tried this code out, we would be able to 
open our door or rather separate our two aluminum foil pieces. And as soon as the micro bit senses that open circuit, it's going to fire off the speaker to make that noise, right? But we want a way to be able to turn that speaker off in order to reset our alarm. So say we walk through our own door, we want to be able to turn that terrible noise off. So in order to do that in our forever loop, we're going to need to put an if function. So we should find it here in the logic. So in this area where it says true, we're actually going to put an input in there. And we're going to put this right here. Button A is pressed. So when we press button A, then what we want to do immediately is we want to turn this set alarm back to zero. Because if it's set to zero, it's going to make this alarm equals one, play these tones, it's going to make that turn off. Okay. So I'm just going to duplicate this code block and put it in there. So when we press the button A, it's going to set the alarm back to zero. All right. One other thing that I want to happen when we set the alarm back to zero is I want to show that check mark icon again. So I'm just going to duplicate that and stick it in this block as well. That way we know we're okay. The alarm has been reset. Now there's another thing that we can do. Let's say that we want to set our alarm and then walk back out our door. What we can do in order to do that is we can in basics grab a pause block and we can set it to something like eight seconds so that we have eight seconds to walk back out our door. So if we do this, the alarm itself will remain inactive for eight seconds, giving us a chance to walk back out the door and reset the alarm. So if somebody, some intruder walks in, the alarm will be set off again. So that's our complete code. Uh, what you want to do at this point is download it to your micro bit and see how it works. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.